What are you doing there, mutton chops? Just getting prepared for tonight, man. Oh, yeah? What, what, what's tonight? Ooh. Silver bullets. You know what silver bullets are for? Let me guess. We got werewolves to come buggy. Dude, I've never seen a werewolf in my entire life. Yeah, well, you're welcome. Hey guys, welcome to the Revolver Roundup, and today we got silver bullets. We got you covered. This is going to be a really important video, guys. Look at that. You know what that's for, right? Light can. Anyway. This is Liberty Ammunition Civil Defense. It's actually not silver. I believe it's aluminum, but that's okay. 50 grain bullet. They say it's doing 1,500 feet per second. 38 special. It doesn't say plus P anywhere, so I guess it's standard pressure. And uh, it says here 1,500 feet per second, 250 foot pounds, uh, 12 inches of penetration at 10 feet, uh, reduced recoil, deep cavity projectile. I don't know, we'll find out. It's also lead free, which makes it not good, but that's okay. They're probably legal in California. Maybe. So we're gonna do five shot average, guys. We'll start off with the 640 Smith & Wesson. The wind today is being very annoying. Um, start off with the 640 Smith & Wesson. Hopefully it reads. I know sometimes bullets that are not brass don't like to read, but hopefully they will. Let's see what we get. That red. It shoots extremely low. That's hitting the very bottom of the target, and I'm aiming middle target. Wow. I hit the dirt. The point of impact is definitely weird. All right, uh, that one didn't read. All right, so one didn't read. We can live with that. I'm not gonna test it again just because we had one that wasn't reading because the rest looked like they were pretty on the money. So we got 1477. Out of a inch and seven eighths, guys. So that's pretty pretty fast. Fourteen eighty four. Fourteen seventy two. Fourteen forty two. Okay. We're not gonna find that one. It doesn't really matter for this. They were all pretty close. I don't want to waste them. 1468 average. Extreme 42. Not bad for kind of an odd round. Standard 16. Not bad. And uh, after we're done doing all of them, guys, we'll come back for the uh, deviation or the uh, sorry flip pounds. All right. So let's see if it shoots low with this one too. All right, guys, so for the four inch, we got a fan favorite, the Colt Python. See how low these ones shoot. That was very strange. That was a little lower, but not as extreme. Grouped all right, too. Very light recoil. Oh, there you go. Nice jump, 1674. Seventeen oh eight. That's impressive. 1700. So as of right now, guys, it says 1,500 on the box. So I'm wondering if they actually used a two inch to get the average for this. 
I was guessing it was going to be a a, a four inch myself, but it seems like they might have used a real like a inch and seven eighths barrel. Fifty two. That's on the extreme standard. Eighteen, not bad. That's a very good eight. All right, guys, next up, we got the six inch. I I don't know what to expect now because I was expecting that not to be that way. I was expecting it to be, uh, I was expecting it to be the four inch at 15 ish, not the inch and seven eighths to be dancing right there. And guys, we got the six inch GP100. And the GPs are generally known for putting some pretty fast bullets out, so let's see how it goes. The point of impact is very, very strange on these. I moved up too much. And I think that must be just because it's a, a really lightweight bullet. I've never seen that 640 never has any rounds dip like that, uh, even like one, one tenors and stuff, they never dipped that hard. That was a noticeable dip. I was aiming where the Python was hitting and they were hitting at the very bottom or off the target, which is quite a bit of a, a change, but it's okay. It's different with every single gun, guys. You never really know. You have to test any carry ammo you're gonna shoot. You wanna test it in your gun to make sure it, it prints where you want it to print. All right, six inch GP100, here we go. Seventeen twenty. So it looks like we might be plateauing on six because that is not a whole lot more than the um, four inch. Let's find out. Seventeen eighty. Seventeen thirty nine. 1760 1672 so that's, that's different so this must be a mild to quick burning powder for it to not want to gain and plateau so quickly in a six inch 108 we've got the worst spread with this one the worst standard, I think. Um, yeah. So that was, this was 16. I will put one too many things there. Okay. So guys, we'll be right back. We'll get you the foot pounds on this. Um, I can tell you right now that this ammo in the six inch doesn't make much sense. Uh, your four inch, you got a, a good jump. So I would say four inch and down, you, you got a good ammo choice um, for 38 special. The recoil was nothing. Like it said on the box, reduced recoil, which the box blew away. Like it said on the box, um, it had very light recoil. Um, I, I mean, very light. I was like a 22 in the Python in this. And in this, it felt like it, nothing I, I mean it really had no recoil so four inches and down i'd say good ammo choice we're going to test it in a second uh, we'll be right back with those numbers in the test all right guys we're back for the inch and seven eighths we only got a four shot average but they were all pretty close so i don't think it matters 1468 average and the foot pounds was 239 so very respectable out of a inch and seven eighths barrel um and again not 357, not even plus P38. This is standard pressures. I mean, kind of how I get the implication off the box. Uh, Python average 1685, foot pounds of 
315 again very respectable and the six inch gp100 1734 and a foot pounds of 334 um so not bad we're gonna test it out in the water guys and we'll see what we get if we get good expansion and if we get uh you know decent looking penetration and all that i would highly recommend this ammo just because of the ease of shooting um it is extremely pleasant to shoot i would give this to a granny i would give it to a woman that is a little recoil sensitive i would give it to a feminine boy that's recoil sensitive <laughs> and uh i would not feel bad about it i out of this gun it really does feel extremely close to a 22. so we did. Here we go. Wow. Not gonna lie, I ate a little bit of that. Oh, snuck out over here. Don't say that. It did. Well, we got more water. We can try again. Is this it right here? Yeah. <laughs> we can try again. Did I hit that straight? Or did I shoot low on it? You might have, you might have hit low. Let's try again. That one... there look it entered here did it stop it looks like it stopped in this one what's all this bubbling going on i am a little confused okay i guess let's Oh. Got some goodies. Hmm. I guess that's it. I guess we'll try one more. Got Nothing in here. Try one more. You guys are really getting the waterworks show today. <laughs> You know what? Let's just try it up close. Here we go. <laughs> you know, I'm glad it's so warm out today. Yeah, it's really warm today. That's a good thing. It's got to be at least 37 degrees. Yeah. Look at that. Nice and straight. That should be no problem. Got a bing. Be in there. It's in there somewhere. Impossible. I think this ammo disappears or something. I'm I'm a little confused. Okay, guys. Well, it exploded. Uh, I couldn't really get you any serious numbers on that stuff because they're not numbers, but results. Oh, there's a bunch of fragments in there. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so, they probably fall apart. First, first, it seems as if the projectile breaks apart immediately, and then that little core travels farther which it says on the box that the core goes to 12 inches so that was pretty uh exciting and a lot of violence 
and I think it would be a good ammo for, like I told you earlier, uh, frail, feminine boys, girls, anything like that that is not good with recoil. So guys, we thank you for watching. Check out our channel sponsors. Uh, it was a lot of fun, very interesting for sure. I I really think that's a good ammo for those those choices. So have a good one, guys.